Uh, we've got the, the team is speaking, uh, and we have little bios of, of each. Uh, so I, I leave it to, to you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you, Peter, for pulling this together. Thank you all for being here on a Sunday evening. Uh, my name is Johnette Burdett. I consider myself a daughter, a granddaughter, a great, great granddaughter, and a great, great, great granddaughter of Nelson County, Virginia. Oh, wow. I had, yeah. Somebody up there is proud today. Um, yes. I had, I grew up outside of Richmond, Virginia, but every memory I have from my childhood um, centers here in Nelson County, Virginia. My family, the nunneries, the roses, and the Ellis's um, have deep roots along the James River and Norwood and Glassstone. Um, and all of that led to why I'm standing here today in front of you as the executive director of the Nelson Heritage Center. The Nelson Heritage Center is located at 1653 Thomas Nelson Highway, and it is the old segregated high school in Nelson County that was built after integration became a law. I want you to sit with that as residents of Nelson County. So this school that was built to exclude and to, to create separation within the county now exists as a community center with a mission of a community coming together, and that is exactly what we are about. <clears throat> the Nelson Heritage Center is run by an executive board of 12 members, all volunteers, who four years ago wrote a grant um, to the Bama Works, CACF Bama Works um, Foundation out of Charlottesville for an executive director to come in and to pull together some of the many resources, some of the many, many events and um, items and initiatives that they had going on. So three years ago in April of this year, uh, I came on as the executive director of the Nelson Heritage Center and have the honor of working with the Millennium Group each and every day. So now that building that sits on the side of 29 that for many years was um, often empty, on occasion being rented out or um, the food pantries that ran through there, now has open doors usually Monday through Friday, if you see my white truck there, from about nine to four. And because of that visibility, we have had the honor over the last three years of having a 100% grant acceptance rate, meaning every grant we've written in the last three years has been accepted and funded. Yeah. We also uh, recently went under renovation to house the health department in our building. We're extremely excited. So if you, walk, if you drive by now on 29 and you see the construction, that's what's happening. Over the last four years, we have raised through grants, donations, and fundraisers over $400,000 to renovate our gymnasium. Yes. We're busy people on the side of 29. That gymnasium has been fully renovated with a new HVAC system, a new roof, new windows. The floors have been restored to their original um, state. We've refinished the bleachers. Uh, we've painted, and we're just awaiting final occupancy from the county for just a few little exit signs that need to go up. We're extremely busy, and we're extremely excited about the work that we do within the county. We are a community center. We're available um, for rentals. We host, on average, probably four to six different rented um, events each year. But we also do so, so much more. We're in conversation and partnership with the Nelson Wellness Alliance and looking to bring um, a new child care center to the Heritage Center starting in the fall of 2023. And we're continuing to increase our footprint across this county and truly live out the stories of the many mighty individuals who walk those halls, who have graduated from those halls, and who are now not only citizens of Nelson County, but global citizens who are making their mark across this great nation. So I want to encourage you, membership for the Nelson Heritage Center and the Millennium Group is $25 a year. I think the web address is right there. If you don't get it in the slideshow, you can see me. I'll be around after. I'm happy to um, get you to the website. You can pay the membership online. You can even set it up so that it is an annual deduction and you don't have to worry about me calling you or sending you a letter. <laughs> um, all membership funds go to support the center. 
the general operation of that center is not supported by the county. It is supported by citizens, supported by members, supported by a very dedicated board. So everything that we're doing comes out of donations and membership. Currently, we have about 370 members of the Nelson Heritage Center who will be getting a letter from me soon because we need to renew for 2023. <laughs> And we have many great um, things still in store. As you said, we just hosted a 200-person uh, event, a Soulful Sound show a couple of weeks ago. We don't have a date for next year, but stay tuned to the website because we do post all of our events. And I know I have two of my board members who are going to talk to you about two um, very specific programs and projects at the Heritage Center. But again, thank you for the opportunity to um, share a little bit, just a little bit, that was just a touch of the legacy and the history of the Nelson Heritage Center and this great organization of the Millennium Group who fully operates and owns that building on the side of 29. Thank you.